time I've, I've driven down to Apple Heights and I gotta stop one day and just find out what the hell's going on with this incredible looking uh, truck. Now we should we should say we will say love we love to the uh, Zephyr as well, which is a, a beaut. But this, so I know that it was. Uh, what was it? Was it when you were with the Civil Defence and you're driving a Green Goddess? Was that the first time you'd seen one? Was it? The, was it that the love at first sight moment? Or well, uh, you see, I've, I've been in the uh, Air Force Police Fire Service for 38 years. Ah, right, right, right. Well, that that'll so, get under your skin, all right, so, so you. That's there. It was a. Now she was. Um, or she was. She was. She's been in Dublin all her life. There was two of them. One was in Shannon. I know. I was down in Shannon for 10 years and then 28 years in Dublin. Right. So I drove both of them. Uh, the one in Shannon has been scrapped years ago. No, I was just, I just before I come over now. Is it the RLHZ self-propelled? Is that, the, is that what well, we're dealing no, with no, here? Is that, that a different that, model? No. Uh, oh. th this is an RL. Okay, all right, right. Uh, I forget the actual. Uh, I have it there somewhere. Right. The, that designation that you're saying was the uh, goddesses. Okay, right. But so it's, no, it's basically it's the same chassis and cat. And, and the, well, the cab, cab or whatever. Built yeah. But, but basically, it's the same Bedford uh, and chassis. They, like this is, uh, uh, they seem to be to me now. They seem to have sort of. Did they dominate the market? Were they the were they the the big kind of in the well, UK it, and here or were, well, I, in, in those days? Bedford's were right. Yeah, because yeah. so they just seemed standard it, in my head that that was like a, you know, the Hoover of of that era. Yeah, like. see, see, if you look back to like most army trucks, well, uh, in the sixties and seventies were all Bedford's as well. Okay, and well, there you go. And the right. British Army to say. Right, because they had the, the, I know it was, it was out of Luton Vauxhall Motors, nineteen oh one to nineteen eighty six. I think they were in production. Then yeah. the brand name was retired in nineteen ninety one. So they had a a huge run because you know you you think about that's up there with Ford and Volkswagen. Oh, and all. Yeah, it's sort yeah, of like Bedford's where, and I said because they the she's a four they, they're four wheel drive. Now they made two wheel drive and four wheel drive versions of them. Right, that's why the army really went for them. Okay, you know, okay, because they could the work on all. Yeah, had a lot of them, and then the TK, which came after the R series. Right. They had them as well, you know. And they're obviously, you know, bottom line, they're obviously a very reliable, solid truck because, you know, whatever about the look and all that, we can all admire something, but if it doesn't do the job, they won't last uh, in, in, in over decades and decades. Oh, no, no. Yeah. And they're, like, and they're simple to maintain because she's a petrol engine. It's a five right. litre petrol straight six engine in it. Yeah. And um, basically, why you look at it, uh, it's the same with these. And with the Zephyrs, right? The older stuff. If you have a screwdriver and a voice grip, you get it going again. <laughs> Not like today, no. You, you need, you need, you, yeah, and all yeah. This type of stuff Which of course locks us into it's like the Apple world we live in now. You have oh, to yeah, basically yeah. go back to the manufacturer to get your yeah. repairs done. Oh yeah. So was it a big kind of decision to say I'm actually going to get one myself? Because as much as you would have loved them and been around them all those years. Oh, that's, uh, I acquired it when I retired from the airport. Ah, okay. Oh, you stole it. Fair play. <laughs> no, I didn't steal it. I didn't okay, steal right. it. Uh, was it? Was basically, it? she would have been heading for the scrap heap. Ah, well then, you saved it. You yeah. saved it. That's different. And that and the other one I have as well. So. So most most lads when they come home and they and they show you know they got a, a fire truck it's usually it fit in their pocket I, when you come home with your fire truck was there any kind of reaction of where the hell are we putting this <laughs> I was all worked out I knew where I was putting it you know, right so uh, okay for, uh, I, I prepared to have her under cover sure but uh, expensive to get under those two or three days of rain we get in Ireland can do all sorts of damage no, well, she's not too bad like the, the yeah. whole rear over there is aluminium oh, okay okay well, is, that, is it aluminium alloy. Right, right. It's only the, the, the front of it now is steel. That's where you're getting rust. So you've no rust around the back of it, you know. And you were saying now she she like tractors and beetles and the certain certain models of of, of machinery. They just they just always start. They they're not like uh, you were saying now. You haven't you moved it for a while, but you, have you have a fairly have strong feeling if you start her up. Six months. Yeah, actually, start now. I throw a throw a drop of petrol down through the car. Right, right. And she she should well. A good few turns of it, but she she will start. She, she, she and and how often now would she get to the wind in her hair? Like would you you would go to some of the shows? Obviously, oh, she's yeah. a big well, attraction. Well, and I, I've had it, but now this year now I haven't had it. Out. The last time I had it out was actually at Christmas. Uh, right, bringing Santa around, Bray. Nice. There you but, go. Uh, it's just now the way things have changed. I haven't I just haven't had time to get them together. Out now I should say it could know. be a he or she. I'm just I'm just using yeah, an old terminology whatever, or yeah you know. yeah. It could be a trans. It's transport. So we say it's trans. Mm. It's for transport. Yeah, so like, I think I'm we're all right. Her down to shows in the Curra. Okay. And she's been down in that loan years ago. Uh, Rat drum last year. And the heart skip a beat ever? Do you get that sort of moment where you're thinking, oh, she's spitting blood? I didn't realise it were. Uh, yes, yes. Like she right. did, did overheat a bit. Uh, a few times, but 
I just put an extra fan on it and it seems to have sold that. That's the great thing. When you know, you know, relatively speaking, you know, you know yeah. what's yeah. what's needed. It's a huge relief because uh, I wouldn't. I, my brothers are mechanics, but I wouldn't really have a clue myself. And well, any I'm, I'm kind not of a mechanic, I'm just a practical, you know, right? But just having the experience around them is oh, great yeah, because yeah. It, it just gives you that safety net of yeah, you know, you know that you can you, you can know. put out a fire before it actually starts. But, uh, but like she, she only yeah. does, she only do about five miles to the gallon anyway. Ah, right, right, so that's why right. She doesn't go out that it's like a BMW then. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she doesn't go out that often, you know. <laughs> just just start get at the top of the hill and then it roll yeah. down. That's her day out. Now we should mention we have to give a, a nod to the Zephyrs, beautiful too, and this. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I'm right. 1950s. Uh, no, 66. Oh, 66. Right there, you go. Is that for four? Right, right. And again, was this? Uh, this wouldn't have been acquired through your your work. Was this oh, just no, a, a passionate no, I just, thing? Just bought that. Right, just bought right. And would it have sort of would that have grown out of having the truck and then realizing how how beautiful vintage no, no, are? No, or? Like I've always been messing around with cars. We all have the whole family have. Ah, well then, Except right. My brothers and all have been messing around with cars okay. and bikes and. All our life from the time we were early teens. And would we, anybody we used else to scramble over Brayhead? All right. Oh, oh nice. Cliff walk. That's the way to do it. That'd be a that'd be a nice way to travel. But did, did any of your your family kind of collect in the same way, or were they just that they had a love for for? A... Uh, no, well, one of the brothers now has a race car. He has a car, ah. a race car. Nice. And the other brother has a lot of buses in Bray. Buses. Wow. Yeah, Finnegan's coaches. And ah, well, there you go. That's so that's the Finnegan. That Finnegan, an, right? An interest in the. And uh, in the so I know my brother, my eldest brother, now a mechanic, and and eleven brothers, like ten brothers and sisters, and and I grew up with him with cars yeah, in the back yeah, of the yeah. house. Would mm -hmm. he always had cars going? Was that the case with you? Was it? Was it? Was it? Uh, was there somebody started all this in the family? Was no, your dad really. or? No. Oh, well, 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 Dad was, well, yeah, he was practical about cars and If he hadn't that big in, he wouldn't be like that. But, right. Well, we just learned for trial and error. And, right. And as right. We started off with uh, us scramblers, get a frame, find an old engine, stick it into it. <laughs> And, and those were days for old carts as well. And yeah, that kind of stuff. Well, those were the days. Now, growing up in Blackberry Lane, we'd be up and down the hill, and, and like you'd be like twelve years old driving the wolves up and down the hill that there's no traffic on, so you're fine. Or you go in the fields and circle around and all that. You're probably dealing with a time when when that was okay to just literally make a, a bit well, of. A well, I think the first car we had was Eugene, the brother had. He bought an old uh, Anglia. Right. Uh, so you know, these sit up a bag as we called them. And we used to run that around the the woodlands, fields in the woodlands. Okay, okay, nice. 15, it was hanging yeah, on good. to it. <laughs> <laughs> we, used to, wouldn't get a railroad we used to tow a wooden uh, go-kart and the front wheels come off and it was mm -hmm. fine. You'd be up in the back wheels and then when the, all the wheels come off, you're just on a plank of wood with about seven coats on you for protection and, and off you we went. We used to go down, we got on the go-karts and we used to right. run the go-karts around the South Beach car park. Nice, Jiminy Cricket. You know, we used to drive them down the main street. <laughs> Like the guards were well, we, and we got on okay with them. Like they didn't mess around. Yeah, I know one guy, one of the car guards now, used to come down and he'd have a spin of the go karts down the South Beach car park. Wow. You wouldn't do it nowadays. No, that's it. You know, I, I mean, I, I, it's almost, you know, like hillbilly time, like Duke's a hazard time, because I, I just remember yeah. we'd, we'd go up and we'd have a trailer and people would be in the trailer. Mm -hmm. You'd be heading off down the town, you put a couch in the trailer and off you go and not nobody yeah, so would really... Dad had one of these. Uh, and uh, he passed it on to us when he got another one. Right. And we couldn't get enough people into it. <laughs> so we just used to take the seats out of it. Oh, there you go. You squeeze a few more, an extra few bodies in there. <laughs> Well, listen, I'll, I'll wrap this up, but we'll get some shots and all that. But people can catch, obviously, yourself and, and the trucks. Now, you're, you're part of the, 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 you know, the Garden, the Garden of, of Ireland, Ireland Vintage, vintage Car Club. Club. I'll, yeah. I'll link yeah. to that because we, we spoke with young Mr. Nolan and his That's beautiful right, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, DeLorean and, and all that. But um, but you, you are fairly regularly out there, so it'll be nice for people oh, just yeah. to catch yeah. you because you're, you're always sort of um, yeah. doing... We've got the... the uh, Mr. Kelly's kind of th uh, coming up now very, very right. soon. That's it's next, uh, next Sunday. Right, so we'll link to that. The, and uh, Yeah, but nicely done, my son, and, and uh, you've got good taste. <laughs> I'll have another one as well. Oh, you have another one? Oh, of course you I do. <laughs> another one which is the same. There's only one of them in the country. Wow. So, uh, and where's that stored? A 1974 three axle. Oh, right. Range Rover, an extra axle pull onto it. Wow. And there are some on it, but this particular model is the only one in the country. Oh wow! And where where would that be now? Is that it's stored in? The... It's up in a in the shed. All right. It's been done. I've, I've all got, right. I've had to put, I've put an it's getting its make over. And... It and we look forward to seeing that around Greystones. Yeah, <laughs>